Hello and welcome to my channel Anshika Goel Illustrator. It's time to level up your illustrations. So today we are going to illustrate this beautiful sequin dress which is ready to go for a club. So this is a blue sequin, sequin dress and we will render it using watercolor and sketch pens. This is the line art and let us start from the skin rendering. Let us do the base coat of brown in which the ratio of water should be more than the color. As you can see. In the stummy part I have left some space for stone work. And it's totally optional. It's up to you if you want to do this kind of texture or not. So let us give the shadow below the neckline with dark brown we have to give all the detailings here like the elbow, collarbone, everything and after that we will merge it with some water. Remember not to take much water in the brush you just have to make your brush wet that's it and apply. You can see now a beautiful effect of skin is coming where we have done the highlights. And almost there. Do the same thing on the tummy. Skin rendering is very important to make your dress look beautiful, even more beautiful. So just do it properly. Now using this pencil color, the Stedler, for final touching. And we are almost there to complete our skin rendering. And you can see the effects are coming out really well. And done. Now do the base coat of blue in the dress. You can apply any color that you want. Green, yellow, red, anything. It's just that the technique should be same. I'm leaving some white part in this dress to show the shine. As you can see the texture of sequin is a mix of black, blue, white as we are doing this blue fabric so we will get the effect of blue, black and white. So we have to make it quite shimmery and to show that shimmery part we have to leave some white space and somewhere we have to make the dress very very dark using the black color. So black and white color will play a very important part here that you will see further so it's a mermaid silhouette here so in the beginning of that mermaid I'm giving more of blue because there will be more shadows falling here you can see I'm leaving some white texture I have drawn this kind of zigzag texture and leaving that part white and you have to do it same way Randomly just zigzag pattern you have to draw and leave that white space as it is. You just have to follow and observe me step by step. Don't miss any step otherwise you will get lost. Now you can see I have done it all blue and same we have to do in the upper part of the dress also. Leaving some white space as we have done before. like this now adding some extra blue color on the shadow area of the silhouette 
this is very important part here I'm doing this dark blue color to give the proper effects before we do we give any kind of texture whether velvet silk sequin mirror work anything the first thing we have to keep in mind is that our rendering should be perfect we have to do proper rendering before giving any fabric texture so here also we have to give proper rendering of our shadows our highlights before giving the sequin texture also we should know that how much intensity of light is falling in the sequin the light intensity the light source is quite intense so here we are leaving more of white so we are adding dark blue color wherever is the white part so we have to do this dark blue color on that side as you can see here is white part i am doing this dark color on the other side of it this is mandatory this will give a very perfect effect of our fabric here is the white part i am doing it on one side i am making it dark on one side in every fabric rendering we have to just do the same things it's just that we just have to sometimes make the light so softer and intense that's it otherwise the properties are almost same in every fabric rendering the steps are almost same now i'm giving the fin some finishing downward now we will add highlights to the dress this is still basic and just check this out how it is coming now i'm adding this black color a bit of black color to give my final highlights highlights are very important for dress rendering or any fabric rendering because highlight is the final part where we get to know the proper effects and texture of a fabric where the shadow is falling where the silhouette fall is coming everything is detailed in this highlighting so i'm doing it on the darkest part of the silhouette like the white part on the side of this white part that we have left out here where the mermaid style is starting and one side of this white part again everywhere
and tada it's almost we are there to finish our renderings and you can see the effect before and after that has came in our dress and done now we just have to add the sequin texture and that is even more easy starting from the texture i am taking the blue color the blue pen you can take stablo or micro tip pen for this same and i am adding some dots i am adding more dots to the darkest part and less dots on the whitish part This is the basic trick that we have to follow all over the dress. The darkest part should have more dots, more blue dots and the whitish part should have less blue dots. It's time taking process but we have to do the same. No option. And you can see the difference in the below and the above part. So doing the same thing again and again repeating the dots all over the dress and see the difference coming out in the above part of the dress in the lower part We have to do it all over Again we will do the same thing the darkest part will contain more dots of blue and the whitish part will contain less dots Now I am adding some dots with this blue sketch because I want some dots wider than the remaining dots so you can do the same Again I am for giving highlights proper so we are using this black sketch and giving it all over the dark area and adding some less dots in the white part You can just observe this. I am applying this black dots only on the black area, blackish area more. This is also a part of our highlight.
Now the blue and black part is done. It's time for white. The final part of the sequin. We have to add some white dots. More on the white area and less on the blue area. And this is the final and firmest thing we have to do here. Which will give proper texture of sequin. And you can see how it is looking. How much beautiful it is looking after adding these white dots you have to add as much as you can you have to add these white dots like very much in the white part especially Remember not to fill it much in the blue part. And check out the difference below and above. And we are almost finished and this is looking damn damn beautiful. You can see guys the texture of sequin is coming out very very well. And this was so easy technique to do. Now it's time to just made our stones. Shining stones. I have made a kind of chain here. And this is gonna look even more sassy. You can see I have left some white dots here again to depict our shine. With the blue pen I am giving some texture like this leaving some part of blue and white as it is. do it in all over the stones and then apply white color on the dots white dots to depict some shine Now it's final time to give our finishing and that we will do with the pen or you can use micro tip or stablo pen for the same.
skin finishing we will do it with brown pen and our sequin garment is totally ready to rock let me know in comments if you guys liked it or not uh, thank you so much for watching and if you guys like the video hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you